and I managed to have similar inspirations. Uh, Edwin has a bit of an advantage in that he actually followed those damn wings around hither and thither for the last six months, and I've just sort of shown up and heralded occasionally, but I heard the story of what happened at Gulf Wars, and when I saw this particular prompt, I'm like, well, they have a story to tell. Mine's a bit shorter than his, and it's also not really in any particular form, because I'm lousy at poetry. So, here we go. <clears throat> I stood at his back for many years, lending flourish to his splendor, his glory my reward. He fought not for his own honor, nor for mine, but for hers, and for theirs, the people he would lead. He fought for years to gain the throne. He lost, and lost, and lost, <laughs> and lost, and then he won. And there I stood behind him as he sat on his throne, lending luster to his estate. His majesty my reward. He ruled not for his own power, not even for hers, but for the power of the people they led. And war came, and he led his people south, under the great war banner. And although they sometimes lost, they mostly won, and won, and won. And when the war was over, his people triumphant, and he wished to give them a token of their campaign, he could not bring himself to slice the banner under which they all had marched. So he gave them something of himself, me. My feathers he detached, my flourish, his splendor, he gave to them his people. Now I am theirs as he is. Triumph in war remembered, majesty in kingship recalled, kinship in combat commemorated. <laughs>